Uh, good morning, class. Today we will continue Unit 5, writing three thank you letters. First, let's see what we're going to do today. So first of all, we're going to write a gratitude card to your father. Second, we try to appreciate the letter to my father in Unit 5. So our focus will be on paragraph 12 and 13. And finally, we will post our gratitude letter. So let's move on to the first part, to the gratitude card. Anyone knows what is so special about the day during the 20s? Exactly, Father's Day, right? Do you love your father? Yes, of course. And do you want to tell him how much you love him? Surely. So to express your gratitude to your dad, okay, what will you do? Just say yes if you would like to make this choice. Will you send him a bunch of flowers or gifts like a uh, haibao? You no. Know? Uh, how about this one to give him a call or text him? Yes, okay, maybe. How about give him a hug or kiss him? Have a kiss him. Okay, so it's not our way, but anyway, if you want to do these things, we have to say something to our dad at the same time, right? So what will you say to your father? Let's just think about it, some words or phrases. Yes, okay. So as for me, since Father's Day is coming, these are my words to my dad. I want to thank my dad for the help he has been giving me all the years. You see, my dad is really a nice man. So I'm sure, so is your dad, right? So what would you like to say to your dad? You may pick these sentences, patterns, and just pick one, okay, to make a complete sentence. Now, let's suppose your partner was your dad. Would you please say one single sentence to him to express, you know, tell him how much you love him. Okay, boy, please, just tell your partner, suppose he's your dad. It's too young for that. <laughs> uh, thanks for giving me the birth and, uh, <laughs> and... Yeah, surely. And I love, uh, maybe I won't say I love you, but uh, I, know, I know he knows it. Exactly, okay? So I'm sure the dad, your dad loves it so much too, okay? So class, think about this sentence, and now please write down this sentence on the piece of paper, okay? Just pick one and try to complete it. Okay, let's get started. Let's see what you're going to tell your dad. A very interesting statement. So, boy, would you please share your sentence with us? Uh, you are the most important for me in the world, and my mother is the second. Exactly. Okay, Dad, thank you. Dad, you are the most important person for me in the world. So, see, this is a general statement of your gratitude to your dad, right? And how important it is. Okay, we can discuss it later. So, class, please bury these sentences in your mind because we will get back to this sentence later, okay? So, it seems that different people have different ways of expressing gratitude. Some send flowers, some give kiss, right? But today, in Unit 5, the author chose to write letters. Uh, in fact, he has written three thank you letters, but our focus today will be on the letter to my father. That is paragraph 12 and 13. So now let's have a close look at paragraph 12 and 13. Okay, so this letter can be divided into two parts. A general idea and a specific example. So can you please tell me which paragraphs give a general idea and which paragraph tells the specific example? Paragraph 12 and 13. So which one tells the general idea? Exactly, paragraph 12, right? So, yeah, have a look at paragraph 12. And more question, would you please tell me, you know, one single sentence that described my general gratitude to my dad? 
What is that specific sentence? Line, how about line two? Paragraph 12, line two, that is, would you please read it out? Would you please read it out this sentence? Okay, boy, would you please? Read aloud this sentence. I found, uh, I find, uh, find my thoughts uh, upon how much you have done for me. Exactly. Special attention should be paid to how much you have done for me. You see, this is a general term, right? And we know a father will do a lot of things for his child, right? Think about it, what your dad has done for you. So it seems that to make this general statement more specific, we need an example, right? That is why in paragraph 13, the author also gives an example introduced by one phrase. What is that? To give example, then we will have one phrase. Yes, exactly, you forgot it. That is for instance, right? So class, do you know other similar phrases that can be used to introduce examples? How about you, boy? Let's suggest, that's a good answer. And how about a most common one, like, like this, okay? For example, now this is the one that is most com uh, commonly used, right? But how about a more difficult one, like a case in point, right? So we're going to put an example, we introduce it like a case in point, is that Okay, so one more question. What is the example in paragraph 13? I mean, <clears throat> what has my dad done for me in paragraph 13? Okay, girl, would you please, what do you think my dad has done for me? <clears throat> he graduated, uh, oh, he loved, his father loved books and reading. Exactly, you have got it, that's right. <clears throat> he, okay, he influences me, exactly, to teach me how to love books and reading. Yeah, so this is an example introduced by the phrase, for instance. But as we know, you see, my father's influence me is so powerful and great, right? But it does not turn me to a writer overnight. So you see, this is a process that takes time. It's a gradual process, right? So now, one more question, class. Could you please tell me the two stages I have been through under my father's influence? First, I have love for books and reading, and then, <coughs> gradually, <coughs> gradually, it turns. You see, as you can see, it turns into a habit, right? about, you know, after dinner quizzes. And then, gradually, finally, my father's influence, what? Let me, exactly, let me to uh, become a writer myself. So, see, this is a process. It takes time, it's a gradual process, right? But pay attention, you see, my father's influence works and it works very well because I do not become an ordinary author myself, I become a world famous one. So class, how much do you know about the author, Alex Haley? Uh, it's okay, it's okay for you to shake your heads if you know nothing. Yes, no, no, okay. Anyway, we have a brief introduction to the author, so have a look at this one, Alex Haley. Alex Haley is an African American. He has written not a few books, but the most famous one is Roots. Anyone has ever read about Roots? Okay, so we also have got a brief introduction to the book. You see this book is based on the author's family history and it, sub it centers on the sufferings and the miserable lives of the slaves in the United States. Okay, so if you are interested in this book, you can go get a copy. Trust me, it's worth reading. Okay, so much for the author introduction. Now let's move back to the letter, paragraph 12 and 13. Yes, so let's see, in this letter, we can 
see that it can be divided into two parts, a general idea and a specific example, right? Okay, now I hope you still remember the sentence you wrote at the very beginning of our lesson. Remember? And do you remember my sentence? My words to my dad. Right, okay, so as I think, our statements, including mine, are very general. I mean, they're general statements, right? So to make our statement more convincing and more impressive, it seems that we need some examples. Say, if you say, your dad, right? Dad, you're the most important person for me in the world, right? So this is a general statement, so could you please come up with some examples? Some very, very specific examples to tell me how important your dad matters to you, or why does he matter to you. You got it? Okay, class, now please look at what you have written down just now, and have a discussion with your partner. Try to recall some examples, specific examples, you know, stories, yeah, things, events happen between you and your dad. Okay, think about it, you will be allowed 30 seconds, just think about it. And you may take notes, okay? You may take notes. I'm sure there must be very, you know, not a few interesting things happen between you and your dad that make you feel grateful or thankful to him, right? So just recall it. We have come so far and what have your dad, what has your dad done for you, okay? Just think about it. Okay, boy, would you mind sharing your story with us? A specific example? Uh, when I'm young. Yes? Uh, no, you're still young. Yeah. Uh, my father sent me to school by bike. Yeah? Uh, and uh, and uh, sometimes meets the rain. Yeah. Uh, you ran when heavily. I get to school, I always uh, diary, and uh, he always, uh, his body is weight. Yes. Uh, so exactly, you know some stories, right, about your dad riding you to school and he ran heavily, right? And yeah. then he... Uh, he come... Wait, uh, because, because he sheltered you, so he got wet. Yeah. yeah, because he sheltered you, right? But this shows that his love, you know, he really cares about you and loves it so much. Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Thanks for sharing. You see, that's a very touching story. So I'm sure you have a lot of stories like this to tell, right, about your dad and you. Okay, so it seems that we have covered two parts of this letter. So let's review it first. We have a discussion about the general idea and a specific example in this letter, right? And we also have finished two tasks about speaking. What is that? First, about making a general statement of your gratitude to your dad. Second, about giving some specific examples, right? So, um, as we believe now, we all know that actions speak louder than words, right? So, how about writing down your statements and your stories, I mean your examples, and try to develop it into a letter, as the author did in Unified. But this time, class, this time you're not going to write the letter on some letter paper. I have found a very special place for you to post your letter. So let's have a look at this one. What is that? Okay, just look at this website. Okay, I found this website when I was Googling information online. It said this website was started by a young man named Alexander Stewart. He was a man of your age, but he has a great ambition. Guess what it is? Guess what it is? His ambition. You know what? He wants to raise one million gratitude comments. One million. Do you think that's really a great project? Yes. And do you think it's possible for him to realize his dream? Possible? 
Okay, we hope so, but I believe it is possible as long as we are willing to help and give our hand to him. Okay, so class, are you willing to help? To help Stuart to make contribution to this website, to this great project, are you willing to do so? Say yes. Yes, thank you, right? So please go to this website and post your gratitude letter there. Okay, sincerely, class, I'm making a personal suggestion. I mean, uh, I'm your teacher for this 20 minutes, right? Maybe after class, you will soon forget it. But as I believe, love and gratitude will last forever, right? You see, Stuart has been updating his website every week. I posted my gratitude letter there, and I hope to see your gratitude and uh, I hope to see your gratitude letter there soon. You promise? Yes. yes. Thank you, Stuart, and I will be grateful for your help. Okay. By the way, don't forget. Okay, do take down the name of this website. Thank you. Yeah, just take it down, and promise you will go there to post a gratitude letter. Okay. And finally, still remember the structure of the gratitude letter. Let's see. Don't forget, okay, first, make your general statements and then try to post some specific examples. You see, this time you can write a gratitude letter to your dad, to someone you love, or to anything you like, okay? Yeah, so you see what? Some students have already uh, gone there and posted their comments their letters. So let's have a look at this student sample. Okay, this, sam uh, this student feels grateful for the uniqueness of life. You see, this is a general statement, right? And what does it refer to? The uniqueness of life refers to the experience, the exact emotions, sights and tastes and smiles. Specific, okay? And another student, okay, about his statement is he feels grateful for the family. This is a general statement. And what specific example he uses? Let's see. He feels grateful for the lovely smile, sweet kiss, true love, and precious happiness of his little nephew. So what do you feel grateful to? Just go to the website and post a gratitude letter, OK? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So. So far, we have discussed the importance of feeling grateful, right? And now, as I believe, I would like to sum up what we have covered today with a very beautiful poem, and I would like to share it with you. So let's enjoy the poem. Today, I spilled my coffee. Yet I'm grateful I can see. And now my mom just called, so grateful she hears me. Ouch, I cut my finger, so grateful for the pain. And now mom's in the kitchen, it smells so good again. I'm full, I finished eating, so grateful for that taste, and now that I am singing, this gift I shall not waste, it's fun while dancing with my friends, so grateful I can walk. Join this poem. You like this one? Because Stuart, okay, Alexander Stuart, make this poem. I downloaded it from his alittlegratitude.com. So, what can we learn from this poem? I mean, this slice. We feel grateful for people who help us, right? We feel grateful for good things that happen to us. But how about those bad things and those misfortunes? Should we feel grateful for them too? Should we? Those bad things and misfortune. So I think we should always bear a kind of gratitude for everything and learn to look at the bright side of life, right? So we have learned about the importance of expressing gratitude. And lastly, I have some other words, okay? My last words for you. My students, my judges, and audience, my gratitude goes to all of you. Thank you.